Eight. Recording in progress. All right, everyone, now being joined by Saeed. We'll start getting some questions going here. Jay, go ahead. Right. Hey, Saeed, congrats on the win tonight. Obviously, uh, a big upset uh, against Minikov there. Just give us your thoughts on the fight overall and then the, the ending with the finger injury. Uh, the fight overall, I, I feel like I, uh, first round, uh, I took a while to find his range and his power and the way he moves. Second round, I started getting more comfortable throwing back. And the third round, I was, I was set, you know, because saw the sponges, saw his stuff. But, um, and the finger, it's not the way you want to win a fight, you know. Um, I know, like, being unable to fight is is, is considered a, a, a win because you couldn't continue or didn't continue. But I still wanted to, the, like, a martial artist in me wants either a finish or all the way to the end. And I was gonna gonna mention that because uh, you know it is a, a big win, and you fought a smart game plan. You did a lot of things good in that fight with those calf kicks. So are you worried at all that people are gonna downplay the significance, or it almost seems like you kind of understand that? I know. Yeah, it's not. No one's gonna be like, oh yeah, this kid came in and like we beat. Like I, I did land. I, personally, I believe I did land a lot in the second and third round. I was landing some good shots. He's got a good jaw. Like I was like, man, this guy's not going down. The calf kicks were working. Definitely uh, got a bruised leg there, and, but definitely people will, will play it down, um, saying like it was a lucky win or something like that. Which I, on 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 one hand, it's a little bit, a little bit of luck. I did throw a punch towards his hand. Didn't think it hit his finger though, not his hand, like in that direction. Gotcha, gotcha. And you know, is that the type of fight that uh, maybe you'd be open to running back? Maybe do it back on home soil in the U.S. Yes, yes, I would. I, I definitely want that. Uh, Want, want to do it again, but he has, I think, I believe he has visa issues. Um, but I, I, I definitely want to do this again so it could be more clear. Well, no pun intended. Fingers crossed that oh, you uh, get to do that. All right. I saw you. Great fight. Uh, I had you losing the first round, winning the second, and on your way to a decision victory, even possibly a stoppage. You had definitely taken over in the third round. You gave him a chance to recover. Was that because you wanted the fight to continue or you just didn't realize you had the opportunity to take advantage there? I, I couldn't bring myself to hit him with while fixing his finger. It's like, it's like, it's like telling a guy, hey, look your finger and he looks and you punch him, you know? Uh, I, I didn't want to be that guy like, oh, he's fixing his finger or his glove. It's like a dirty move. Um, I, I did realize his finger was, was, was broken. He was fixing it. The ref was yelling like, continue to fight, continue to fight. And I told him, like, hey, it's not his fingers, like, messed up. And um, Vito's a real nice guy, man. Like, it's not someone uh, you want to dirty win or, like, just hit him just because to hit him. Like, you want to, I want to, like I said, I want to find him, like, a martial artist and, and, and a warrior. Like, we, you know, we do battle Viking style. No, respectful. And if they don't yeah. run it back, who would you like to fight next? Uh, man, I haven't thought about that yet. I was just hoping to get through this one. <laughs> Hey, Diego. Hi, Saeed. Congratulations on a beautiful performance. Not a lot of people want to fight the former champion Vitali, let alone on somewhat short notice. How did he feel to you in the cage? Because he had a lot of weight on you, right? Yes, he's a lot heavier. He had uh, uh, 10 kilograms or 15 pounds on me. Um, it wasn't really short notice, to be honest. I had a full camp. Um, I think I knew eight weeks before. Uh, it was, uh, like, I think I've told people before, I'm, I'm willing to take the tough fights because that's how you really test yourself. If I just keep fighting bums, I'm going to be a bum myself. The people of Suriname got to watch this fight during dinner time, and I can imagine that Paramaribo completely exploded of joy after your win. There are many talented fighters in Suriname, right, Said, Are you happy that you can show them the way and make them believe in themselves? I hope I, I, I put a path out for everyone to see that they could achieve something with sports you know Suriname is it's a tough country to grow up in and tough to to get somewhere with with athletics or sports so yeah I hope I hope they believe it but we do have a lot of good fighters a lot of talent in Suriname um very few opportunities though is the issue uh, last one here Joe all right um how much more of a boost do you think this gives yourself in the division because of the way the fight ended I don't think much. On, like, okay, for myself, maybe not much. Who knows what other people think or how they see it. Uh, like, uh, I forgot which um, guys, which interviewer just said mm -hmm. that he scored me winning on the second and third. But 
to me, unless the fight finishes like decisively, um, personally, not much. Maybe a little bit more because I did I did do good. I didn't get finished in in one minute, like most like he finishes most guys. So, um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Let's we'll see what other people say. What the what the fans say. What Bellator says. What, what Scott says. Great. And 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 just one more. Are you happy? You kind of seem like. Not unhappy, but kind of like there could have been a better way, which obviously there, there, there could have been. Yeah, there could have been a better way. It's a bitter, bittersweet, I think is the word. Yeah, the word yeah. <laughs> bittersweet. I'd say congrats, man. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.